In this video, I'm going to be covering the new Ravenfield Early Access Build 23, also known as the Spec Ops Part 2 update. So I'm going to be going through systematically each and every change and what it means for the game and what you can expect from this new Ravenfield update. So make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video to make sure you don't miss anything. So let's get straight to it. So as you can see right here in the Spec Ops game mode, we are used to having a four-man squad, but that is not necessarily always going to be the case anymore. So if we back out into the main menu, you'll see as normal, we got three guys here, three guys here. Now, obviously, this slider works for all the other game modes, but in now works for spec ops too if i slide this to the right you will see it now goes down to two guys and one guys which it always did but now this actually has an implication for the game even if we put it down to zero that means it'll be just you fighting in the spec ops game mode so if i show you that if we slide it to here where it only shows two units and then i play the game then you will see that i spawn with two people rather than three so it's going to allow us to have a little bit more control so we can play with zero one two or three teammates in the spec ops game mode but this is where it gets exciting because if you scroll in the other direction and it removes the Ravenfield players, then you can actually get yourself a pretty hefty squad. So rather than going from zero to three teammates, if we spawn back in right here, you're going to see uh, just how many people we can actually spawn in with. We can now get a six man team, meaning there's seven of us in the Spec Ops game mode, which is a pretty massive change. It just gives us a lot more control over what we're actually doing. Okay, so coming towards us right now, you can see a boat patrol. Now, this is actually a really important point because uh, patrols is again one of the biggest things that's actually changed in this update. Rather than just being a void random boat patrol that kind of just minces around the map if you look on the top left hand corner this is actually a moving thing that i've actually got to kill so a moving objective which i'm going to take a shot at and i actually hit which is oh my god and these guys also hit their shots so i guess that counts as neutralizing the boat patrol right there these savages that's what happens when you got a six-man squad right there we neutralize the patrol now another thing you're going to see is there's actually a guy down at the bottom called eyes which is a new feature and they're actually going to give you updates on the process and whether or not the patrols are getting near to you. Again, we're going to try and take out this patrol with style, so I'm just going to pop one right there and uh, soar some of my lads right there. Again, you can see how fun this is actually going to end up when you've got a massive assault squad like this. Now, one issue I'm sure we are going to encounter is actually being able to pick up enough people. I'm interested to see what happens here. If I get these guys to jump in with me, obviously there's got there's actually now three guys who don't have anywhere to go so are they just going to run along with us what would be really really cool to see in this update would be if they actually got those other guys to jump on a quad bike and they followed in a second vehicle that would be pretty awesome now again right there you can see another new feature right here eyes this is one of the new features there's somebody who is going to be keeping oh my oh my god there's quite a few of them eyes is going to be keeping track of enemy patrols and enemy movements uh, so that we don't have to constantly be referencing the map ourselves so you saw that unit right there he has spotted a patrol this patrol is moving up towards us and we're gonna have to take him out that is another new feature of this update which oh my goodness lads this is absolutely brutal we're just chopping them down we're absolutely chopping them down how many was that there was loads of them there no shooting boys getting killed how is nobody hitting him all right boys we're breaking out the big guns here see you oh somebody else got him but i just thought i'd put one of those into him anyway okay we did lose two units which means i am now back down to a four-man squad ripped to these boys right here so another thing they've improved is they've actually improved the spawn location so that we spawn 200 meters away because some of the spawns were really 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 bad and they've also improved the ai uh, and there's a couple of other features i'm going to show you once we get to the night mode oh not night mode that was a oh i thought that was oh maybe i wasn't close enough for a headshot clear the airstrip and there you go you can already see they have flown up a flare now one of the things that that's going to do which i will show you uh, more in the uh, night vision round i'm going to do just after this but that's actually going to call nearby patrols so already you've seen that there's a lot more patrols that are moving around but in this mode just in any normal mode what that's going to do is that's actually going to actively attract other patrols so you see those three patrols we've already had to deal with they would all now be coming to this position here and would be putting down some serious hurt on me and my four remaining guys okay so in spec ops update part one what happened is one of your squad members was guaranteed to take an anti-tank weapon of some uh, of some sort but it didn't necessarily mean that they were going to use it so one of the objectives obviously and one of the problems we used to have was actually we'd get to this point we'd already used our anti-tank weapons and it would mean we'd be completely unable to take out this mud skipper okay let's just go hot let's just there's no point oh that guy didn't even notice leads lad didn't even notice okay he's done now so effectively you might get to this point in the video which happened to me i was to this point in the game and you'd be unable to actually destroy the mud skipper however a new feature that you're going to see right here is regardless of whether or not i have any anti-tank weapons i can walk up to it and i can press f and i've just got to run away we got to get clear run away and that will deal with that truck itself so we don't actually for these static objectives we no longer actually need anti-tank weapons to take them out. 
There we go. That is all we had to do. We just ran up to it, pressed F, and now it is going to be destroyed. That is one more objective down, and we didn't have to restart the game because none of us have ammo. Okay, so I'm going to set my four remaining guys to just stand there, and they've all got their silence pistols out. We're going full tactical right here. Now, one of the other things that's changed is they've actually massively increased the uh, the AI's ability uh, in these kind of game modes, and particularly with like a line of sight and all that kind of stuff. So I want to just try and take, my, take myself in here and see how well I can do with the pistol, see if I can take them down tactically or if I get spotted and what their new kind of mechanics are like and what their detection range is. Okay, I need to take the shot. No! <laughs> Unfortunately, I suck. Unfortunately, I suck. So we're not going tactical. Oh, that's a real shame. I really wanted to go like really tactical there, but I just missed like four consecutive shots on his head. Although, yeah, I did get spotted. I, de I definitely got spotted. Also, they have popped a flare. Now, another interesting thing about the flare is when the flare is up, their actual view range is massively increased, so you can get spotted from much further distances because obviously they're alert and they are actually looking for you. Oh, they're all camping on the hill. Alright, I'm just going to, seeing as I have four guys left, I'm just going to send the boys in. Also, eyes chatting down there. That's the target officer. Which one? Which one's the target officer? Alex Fields, come on. Can we get Alex Fields? All we need to do is just take down the target officer here. Come on, boys. Come on. Get him down. Get him down. Get him down. I'm going to make him shoot me. I've been hit. Boys, I need, I need help. I need support. Daniel G is one of the only ones left. It's just Daniel G down there. I'm on pretty much no health. Daniel G has just been put to rest as well, I think. Oh, no. He's back up. He's back up. No. I've got no ammo. I've got no ammo in literally anything. Uh, harbor's clear. How's Harbor clear? How did he die? Oh my good Isaac over there, the MVP. I don't believe it. I did not see him. Okay, Isaac, you're literally going to have to win this entire thing for this team because I have no ammunition left. How do I destroy the ammo crates with no... <gasps> Oh my god, I don't believe it. MVP of the day right here. Isaac just destroyed whatever that was. I hadn't even seen it. It looks like it was an anti-aircraft gun. Okay, now that we have destroyed all the objectives, you will see there is now actually a new objective. Now, uh, this is another one of the changes in this update. So if all of us had survived, the game would just end because we would have killed all the enemies on this beach uh, with a full surviving team. However, as you can see, why is he looking away from me? Look into my eyes. Uh, what you can see right here is if I hold this, it says exfiltrate, right? So what we now have to do is we have to run over to a helicopter, make it back to a helicopter so that we can get out uh, and then the game will end. And there you go. You can see a pilot airlift is touching down now. So we need to make our way back over there. And you can see the helicopter is flying down. This is a pretty cool new update. Uh, what you can see is Ravenfield, the Spec Ops game mode in Ravenfield with this new update uh, is just going to make it a lot more interesting. Before, if this uh, Spec Ops game mode felt a little bit unfinished. Oh, don't die now. This game mode felt a little... No! <laughs> it felt a little bit unfinished. But as you can see now, it is, it is a fully fledged game mode and it is pretty awesome. And to get in, you have to press F on it right here and you can see we are being lifted away. So there is now more of an official ending and you can see this nice new cutscene. Uh, it just is a little bit more smooth around the edges. The beginning looks nice, the ending looks nice, and there's a lot more content in the middle uh, just to make it a lot more interesting throughout. But we're not quite done there. We are now with our seven-man squad. Once again, we're on the night map. We all have these tactical M4A1 weapons, which are all looking pretty awesome, so we'll be able to see all of their lasers throughout all the sky. Uh, this is our squad right here, but obviously, one of the biggest changes in this is to the patrol features, uh, the line of sight and artificial intelligence that goes with that, and in particular, the flares and the line of sight. So obviously, if we get spotted and the flare goes up, uh, we lose our night vision and their increase the line of sight is going to have some big implications for the gameplay. So I want to make sure that I show you this before we move on. Okay, so what you can see right there, once again, is eyes. You have an inbound mud skipper. If we hold down M, you will see... Oh, well, it actually is getting quite close. That is slightly concerning. I must admit, those things are going to absolutely wreck me. However, hopefully... Oh... Hopefully a few of my boys have got some anti-tank weapons and that's actually one of our objectives So it makes sense. That we actually go try and take that out first fire fire fire. Come on more fire. Okay. Come on That's got to get him. Come on. 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 Surely <gasps> I didn't get him. That's slightly concerning. That means this is gonna be a very angry mud skipper piling around the corner Okay, I disabled it. Okay, but it means there's gonna be boys piling out the back of that though. There they are Come on put them down put them down put them down. Okay, come on Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Come on, boys, save me, save me. Did Alex Field just boss? Yeah, hold on, hold on a second. How do they know we're here? Oh, no, they put a flare up. That is exactly what I mean. How are they all here? I didn't even see them on a the map, and I can't see anything. They put a flare up. We have been spotted, but it doesn't matter because I've absolutely cleared them out. However, 
Worryingly, you can see right there on the map, you can see patrols are coming around from everywhere. The place is fully lit. Night vision is absolutely not working anymore. I'm actually going to move my squad up here, and we're going to try and hold off against these guys who are attacking over on the left-hand side, actually. They're coming from the left-hand side, just around this corner here. Okay, you can see how they were just drawn to that. Oh, there we go. I think we dealt with them. Is that all of them? Okay, here we go. My squad in a V formation. Now that the flare has gone, I have put my night vision back on and we are going to go try and destroy the mud skipper, which again, we don't actually need any anti-tank weapons for. No! My first shot was a fail. My very first shot. Hold on. He took a loud shot, didn't he? Oh, they know we're here. They know we're here. Oh, it's the guy. It was the hero from the last round. Oh, hold on a second. Bird Geronimo, we absolutely cleared them out there. That was absolutely brilliant. Now, again, as usual, you see this mud skipper. It might be the case you've used all your ammunition. I've only got one. I wouldn't have enough to kill it. It would be a problem. What we can now do is I can now run up to it once again, press F, and just run away. Explosive planted, get clear. All we got to do is then run away to a safe distance, and it will automatically blow up for us. Okay, there you go. It did just blow up. So it's actually time. So you just plant it and it's just after a certain amount of elapsed time it will blow up. So it gives you time to get clear. It doesn't mean that you have to run a certain distance to get clear. Uh, it will just blow up after a certain amount of time. All right, lads, let's just clear them out. Why not? Why waste time? Let's just clear them all out. Just clear them all out one by one. Oh, that wasn't great. Why did none of the boys shoot? None of them shot. You're going to leave this to- No, 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 not like this. Please, no. <gasps> 60 health. Oh, is he gonna get me? Is he gonna get me? I can't believe I've broken every bone in my body, but we survived. Rur Asker, I survived that somehow. Okay, slow motion has been activated. PB Penguin, come on. Come on, I can get that kill. No, how was that not a headshot? Sloth, Mr. Sloth, come on. Also, look, their bodies just go absolutely flying in slow motion. Okay, that was silent. They didn't have time to raise an alarm, right? Okay, slow motion, AVK filming. Guess some. There we go. Slow motion, pretty useful, actually, I must admit. Okay, here we go. No, that's what I thought. Okay, almost got me. Oh, we actually got... Oh, we actually... That was a comm officer right there. We actually did it. We're exfiltrating on foot. So because we didn't lose any units right there, we are not actually going to be going out on the helicopter. That just counts as a win straight up. You can see... I don't know if you'll be able to see my guys who are over there. They were hidden behind that building. But we are actually... Yeah, you can still see them sort of behind that building. We don't exfiltrate on a helicopter. We just go out on foot because we lost no casualties. There's actually different ways you can end these new raids field battles anyway. Now what I'm going to have on screen right now is a full list of all of these changes so that you can actually have a read through if you want to rather than just seeing what I've actually showed you there because there's a few smaller details that I might have missed there uh, but that generally speaking covers the majority of it. The majority of it is of course the Spec Ops Part 2 update for Ravenfield and we're trying to get to 5,000 subscribers so if you haven't already subscribed please do consider doing so because only a small percentage of people who actually watch these Ravenfield videos are actually subscribed to the channel. Now if you haven't seen my last Ravenfield video and you want to go back and check that out then there'll be a card in the top right corner of the screen so you can do that but thank you very much for watching i will catch you again next time